Hi all, I know it's been a while since I've had regular uploads, but I wanted to share with you everything that I got on my birthday for Christmas. <laughs> So I did quite a long journey of travels. I was going all through Greece, Italy, exploring places that I have not been since moving to the UK. I've done most of the capital places like Venice, Rome, Mykonos, Santorini, but I really wanted to hone in, especially on Italy and go to other places such as the Amalfi Coast, Lake Como, and really explore some of the other sides. Also, I do apologize because after I went on this long trip, I also had a week in London where I was just in my blues, didn't want to be back to reality. So I decided to go to Morocco for a few weeks as well. So I've definitely kept the bronze on. But what I wanted to share with you was some of the luxury things that I collected on my trip. Stay tuned and like this video and subscribe. First one, which you did see a video of, I will link that here, is the Van Cleef and Arpels bracelet that I got. This beautiful cardinone stone in white gold. This is such a precious piece. I wanted to have something unique. So I went with the lilac blue stone and with the white gold, which is not the typical jewelry color that I go for. Normally I collect rose gold. So this is quite unique in my collection and it really does have a great memory of when I went to Paris. Yeah, I just, I love this one so much and I've been wearing it quite a lot on my trip. I always wear it on its own. I don't prepare it with my stack, but also so if I'm out for dinner, sometimes this will be my only piece of jewelry that I'll wear, which I really do love. Another bracelet that I got on my holidays when I was in Greece. This was actually on my birthday. I went down to the luxury shopping district area that they have there and I wanted to get something rose gold to go with my stack. So of course I'm not quite complete. I have the Cartier Love bracelet and the Tiffany bangle. This is a, a dust bag for Chanel makeup. <laughs> I've kept it in. But here we have the Justin Clue in rose gold, the small size. And I was really toying between whether or not to get it in the same size as the love bracelet or the Tiffany bangle, which is slightly smaller. This was the last one that they had available and I just bit the bullet because they had a big tax rebate. I think it was about 20% that they were giving back. So I really wanted to take advantage of it. But uh, yeah, so this is a really beautiful um, bracelet and it's very simple, but when I pair it with my other jewelry, it does really stand out as well. I got some sunglasses, fabric case, which is really interesting. I don't have any Chanel sunglasses, but I was expecting them to have that PU leather case, but this fabric is really cool. We have these really cool design, which are kind of funky looking. They have like this arch in the middle and on the side it's like quilted. The lens itself feel really good. And on the side, they also have some little CCs there as well in between each of the quilts. So um, I've worn them a few times and they're just, um, I don't know, kind of Anna Wintour, but very chic, very dark. <laughs> really do like these ones. I actually did lose a pair of okay. Dior sunglasses. And ever since I've really felt like I needed to replace them. And this is a horrible feeling to have, but when you don't know where or how you lost something, and it feels like it's almost been stolen, which I never am that skeptical type of person who feels like things have been stolen from me. But I literally was out and then on my way home, I was like, where are they? Yeah, ever since I lost those ones, they were really big frames and they were kind of like avant-garde. Whenever I wanted to be a bit more punchy with my outfit, I would wear those. So I'm hoping that these will replace that same need. Okay, also we're getting through this. I wanted to talk about some of the clothing that I picked up. I did go to Marge. I'm back at shopping at Marge. I've loved it a lot in the past and I bought many dresses from there. But what I bought from them this time around was shorts. I really wanted some shorts. So I bought these ones and you can see that they're green. They've got two pockets. They're like the only shorts they had in store. And they're just really fun. I love the green color. And shorts just are something that you can never not need in your wardrobe. I find a lot of people love wearing shorts. 
So, um, I also picked up these shorts and I picked these up when I was in Italy. There was actually a outlet over there and I picked up these shorts which are sparkly. They kind of look like a skirt from the front and I also have a tartan version but I don't know where it is. I'm kind of in the middle of packing at the moment. Bought these and another version and I really love these because they're really short but they kind of just give you that playful vibe. Paired up with a white t-shirt or a black singlet but on a night out, this is really fun. I also picked up this from Sandro. I was really cold and I needed a jumper and I was gonna go to Zara, but then I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna wear it and I may as well just get one that I'm going to love and wear for a while. So I think this one is a bit of wool in there as well. So it does keep you quite warm when you're in a kind of a warm climate that doesn't drop too cold. This has these beautiful sequins, kind of Chanel vibes, this one. It has that elegant look to it. It's kind of tweed, but not tweed. So really cool design. I fell in love with this one. I also got two Zimmerman dresses. Maybe I should get them now. So Sorry for the lighting in this video. Uh, it's not even five o'clock and it's nearly dark. But anyway, I got this from Zimmerman and I got this in Capri as well. Did a lot of shopping in Capri. This is a beautiful Zimmerman dress with a beautiful print. You can see that it has this um, kind of like beaded belt as well. And the bottom. Oh, it's got pockets. Yeah. Oh, I love it when they have pockets. Wear a lot of these dresses when I go away rather than to a wedding because I always end up going to like nice restaurants and I think that if you've got nice things you shouldn't wait for an occasion. I used to be like that and I was kind of raised like that. My mom used to always just save things for nice occasions. I'm the complete opposite. I like to just wear things and enjoy them and we're not gonna be here forever so you may as well smile and laugh and enjoy the things that you really do love. This is a gorgeous dress. I also got another one which I don't know where it is. I think I've packed it somewhere. Zimmerman is just this brand that I've really embraced this year. As you may know, they're Australian brand, but I really do love that ethereal girly kind of look. So I've really enjoyed collecting their stuff this year and I bought a lot of Zimmerman this year. This beautiful new Lady Dior bag. Now I've got a ribbon on here cause I store them all with the ribbons. Basically I just get this plain ribbon and I cut it up and I just tie it around the top so the handles don't flop around. But I bought this one pre-loved from a website. I'll link it up here. This website is from Japan. This bag was, it's kind of been around for a little while. I've seen it there for a while and I originally wanted the last spring summer beige bag that Dior had. But after a few months, and I mean it really took about two months to decide whether or not I wanted that bag, I decided that I may as well just get one of the older season beige bags. Of course I wanted the small. It's one one of my favorite sizes. It saved quite a lot buying this one pre-love. It has the enamel hardware, so I think this is from 2020. It means the scratches are not visible. It was a really smart idea when they did this. I don't think they do it as much anymore. I kind of like having it in my collection. It's something a bit different. There's a little bit of wear there. I'm not sure if it's a stain. It almost looks like mold. Ugh. I don't know if it is though. But yeah, that's the only problem that the bag has. So I brought this one with my trip as well as um, I had my shin and a couple of other Lady Dior's. So I had quite a few bags, I was gone for like two months. So I was just wearing them every day and um, yeah, like I've broken this one in for sure. This I also got in Capri. I visited the Dior store there. Whenever I'm at a new location, I like to see some of the new luxury stores, especially Dior. See if they have anything unique or different. Inside here, is beautiful silk scarf. And this is quite a large one. It's got the Paris print on it, which I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I saw this in Paris originally and I just really thought it would be good for holidays, keeping you a bit warm. Silk is quite good to wrap around you. It does keep you quite warm, especially if it's just a little bit chilly. So I got this in the beige and black color and I really love it. It's kind of like a permanent collection from them now. They have the white and black version, but I wanted this darker version. It's quite good because if you wrap it around you like so. So I went to Lake Como and I was wearing it there. You can also kind of wrap it around maybe not like this. Um, but yeah you can yeah I've worn it as a top as well like it's quite it's quite good as a top so you can sort of wrap it around like so and um yeah I, I, I quite like this one it's it's quite nice but yeah 
that's what I got to deal there. <laughs> so anyway, that brings an end to this video. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in today. I really enjoyed shopping and collecting some of these pieces. Let me know what you think about all the pieces that I bought down in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.